Delta Bass Louie on Instagram. Um, that's probably the best place. Uh, I don't do that fa Facebook, just with friends. So, anyways, we got a box out here, uh, out here in Wisconsin. So, uh, let's break it down. The heavy duty S. This is the indicator Yamami color. Right here, it's got a nice little chartreuse head. Hold on. You just had a giant V looking fly thing on your shoulder. Oh, man. Okay. Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, and uh, this is a 3.1 gram, 55 millimeter. I can't see it. Right there, check that out. Big perch dreams. Right there. And then we also have a similar one. This one is actually a G50 flat side FS. Tukimi, or Takumi Saki Tiigo. I'm sorry, my Japanese is not that great. But this is a oh, fast sink. <laughs> uh, this is four, uh, 0.4 grams and 50 millimeter size. And then... So we picked those up to match a lot of the small bait fish and fry that's going to be in the water this late spring, early summer. Yeah. All right, let's move on. We got the new Vibration X Silence. Just this one out. And this is the silent version. And this is G bass. Bass eat bass. Yeah, it's a bass eat bass world. <laughs> that it is. That it is. Here we have the other vibration X. This is the rattling version. And this color is Waken Tone King. Or Waken Token. And we fish to rattle baits when fish are aggressive in off-colored water when we want that extra noise, vibration, sound, presence, and then follow through with the silent version after you wear those aggressive fish out. And that silent version can also coax fish in calm waters, days when you don't have a ton of wind, high skies like this, into an extra bite or two a day. Okay. And that, that can be a big difference. Same color. Here we have Rattle X. Another one. This is this Champagne Kinkuru. That's a How great color scheme that? for off. That's a great color scheme for low light conditions. Yeah. Off colored water. Gold gets bit really well when it's overcast or rainy. Really great color. That's something we learned when we were trout fishing as a kid. Gold super dupers, gold cast masters on cloudy days did significantly better than the chrome or the silver patterns. Yep. All right, and we have another another uh, vibration X, and this color is the bone blue back chartreuse. Uh -oh. Dirty water special. <laughs> really sweet colors. I'm just gonna run through whatever's through here. So we have the Ito, Sh Ito Shiner and MG Vegetation Reactor. That's a springtime bait. Aggressive fish, triggering bites from spawn fish, post spawn fish. It's loud, it's in your face. Clear water, dirty water, high sun, low light. If those fish are aggressive, we're throwing a reactor color up. Ito Shiner, once again, different than the 110. Is it better? That's a question I get all the time. No, nothing is better. Nothing's ever better. Just a different option to show them. A little bit bigger profile, different swim action. All right, we have 
another Ito Shiner. And this is Wagon Rainbow. Wagon Rainbow. Really nice, really natural looking. Rainbow Trout. There's no Rainbow Trout in these lakes. Doesn't matter. Solid color scheme. Continuing with the uh, Eco Shiner, we've got the White. Oh, sorry, Waken Golden Shiner. Mm. Another nice gold color right there. Low light conditions. That'd be awesome. Those of you guys that are looking to mimic brown color bait fish, carp, hitch, shiners, etc., etc., that's a good one. This is Gold IU. Oh, look at that thing in the sun. First time I've seen this in person. Yeah, check that out. That's sick. That's going to be a great clear water color. A little bit more subtle. Not so much in the face, but really nice. All right. Continuing with the mag draft. We have the Sunshine Gill. Dang. Yeah, check that out. The nice details of uh, Mega Bass. Absolutely love. Check out that. The Chartreuse Tail. Especially when it's going to be kicking, it's going to draw a lot of attention to that. That's going to be really sweet. Awesome is that. Obvious Sunfish Imitator but also could be really closely perceived as a yellow perch up in these Midwest and Northern waters. Mm -hmm. so that's gonna get bit. Oh yeah. Uh oh, here's a, another six inch mag draft. And this is <laughs> the Yugi. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, of course, probably, probably, not. probably not, but check that out. It's got a nice orange belly with the black backside and the nice little gold flakes on top. It's kind of like the old school Southern California Halloween color and all the inshore plastics. Yeah. Pretty That's sure. Red. Yeah. I like that orange, especially when you're going for lean cod. Lean cod! Yeah, lean cod. Multi species anglers. Yeah. What do you guys know? All right, and here we have a six inch mag draft as well. More six inch. And the Kinkuru color, check uh, that out. That's crazy. Nice solid blue with the nice transparent, most yellow chartreuse color with that holographic uh, belly right there. Just like the uh, silver shad. It's really nice. That's cool. It's really sweet. Six inch mag draft is a great starting point for those of you guys that want to get into a big bait. Fish a six inch, start catching fish, gain some confidence, move up to the eight, to the ten. Oh yeah. The Vision 110 and the uh, Chartreuse. Wait, wait, I don't want to butcher it. The Twilight Chartreuse back. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't have all these colors memorized already? Nope, not yet. That's I terrible. should. I thought you were an enthusiast. I should. I should. <laughs> <laughs> you just got on the Mega Bass train recently, right? Yeah, just a couple of months ago, about uh, about like last month or so, um, when I went with Oliver on uh, on the last trip out uh, in NorCal. That's all I got to say about that place. And really turned me on to the uh, Vision 110s, and after that, I was hooked and I just kept going. It was, it was kind of funny because when I met you and we had a couple of the limited colors on hand that I knew were going to sell out immediately. Yeah. Um, you were one of the first guys and you were kind of hesitant. 
25 yeah. bucks a pop. It's a lot of money for a bait. Especially a jerk bait, a lot of people who are, you know... And you don't even have with... pike or muskie in your water. Nope. We just have, you know, just our Northern California fish, largemouth, uh, smallmouth, not very big smallmouth, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and, of course, trophy-sized spotted bass and striper and all that other stuff. But it was interesting because you went from super hesitant about buying two baits to just full-on crackhead mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that mega bass. Alright, so next we have the flap slap with the elbow system. And this color is PM Go Chartreuse Shad. Check that out. So this is different from the standard flap slaps. It's got the linear bearing oscillator balance system. So instead of that moving balancer ball inside the body cavities, Mega Bass is re-releasing a lot of these baits, including the Flap Slap, the 110, um, and the Diving Elbow with this new LBO casting system. And in the short time that I've been fishing them, they do seem to cast very, very well. Going to be curious to see how it affects the swimming action and the fishing performance overall. But I'm expecting good things. I agree. Here we've got new, or the uh, Vibration X Junior, and a similar color we just saw earlier, Awaken Tone Kin. So, yep, we go with the Junior or smaller variations of the bigger standard baits when the fish are keyed in on smaller prey items where they won't respond to a bigger bait. Here, get a comparison right there. Hold them up. I tend to like to start big and work my way down as I have to, because generally you will get bigger bites on the bigger bait. But there are way too many scenarios when that little guy will outperform the bigger brother. Oh, yeah. Here we have another vibration in the uh, GLX blue uh, chartreuse back, or back blue. Chartreuse back. <laughs> this is the silent version. Blue back chartreuse. Once again, dirty water special. Right. Smaller, smaller profile. In the silent. It's good to have options. Yep. It's not good for your credit card. Oh no. <laughs> and here we have the 110 plus one and the uh, MG vegetation reactor. 110 plus one, cuts harder, left, right, and deeper. Check out that bell. <laughs> All right. Here we've got another flap slap in the uh, GG gill color. What I love about the flap slap is its profile. It's spot on with a lot of the shad and herring species, but can also pass for a lot of these juvenile sunfish that when young aren't necessarily super round quite yet, kind of got that teardrop shape. So it's a great bait to mimic all types of forage. How sick is that Gigi Gill? I mean, Look at the, just the cut, the finishing, the finishing colors on that. That's, that's one thing I love about the Mega Bass line the colors and all the little details i'm a sucker for details that's why I, that's another reason why i fell in love with the uh with the mega bass line all right next we have another vision 110 and this is the uh concomerin copper shad butchering it yet again I'm, i believe <laughs> that's cool that's a really nice color what does that remind you of Ito Illusion. Hmm, that's pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. A little bit darker overall. It's got a scale pattern on its shoulders. A little more red on the back rather than, uh, was it like a black almost on the uh, Vision 110? And a little more yellow. This is the uh, Jekyll and Hyde. What does mm. that mean? Let me show you. So here we have the Jekyll. And finally, the Hyde. <laughs> so it looks like 
uh, a Kankuro on one side and a deadly black shad on the other. Imagine that. Just That's pretty crazy. Catching the attention of those fish from far away. Different colors from both sides. Really neat. And yes, the eyes are supposed to be mismatched. Get that question quite a bit. Come on, Jekyll and Hyde people. <laughs> so flap slap. We fish that in four feet of water or less typically. Anything from that, like four to ten. We fish the diving flap slap. Similar action, just different zone in the water column. Alright. Alright, here we have another flap slap and see-through blue chartreuse back. As you guys got some stain in the water, tannic water, low light conditions, that one should do some damage. Sweet as that. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Another, another one for the elbow. Six inches. Here we have ooh, a five inch mag draft. What? Shiner. How awesome is that? So that's a new one here for me. I haven't seen these in person at all. Now, I already do damage on the six, eight, and the 10 inch mag draft. This little bite-sized morsel, uh, this little bite-sized morsel should do really well in smallmouth country in particular. Still expecting that infamous mag draft body wop. It's really nice. Especially that's a sweet color. Really awesome. Let's see. Here we have a flat slap and a mega bass. Or, wait. Oh no, we haven't done the concurro yet. Check that out. Off colored water or low light days. How sweet is that? <laughs> you watch way too many mail calls. I learned from the best. <laughs> Don't know who that is, but. Hmm. <laughs> All right. And here we have a Vibration X rattling version in the G Bass. So, yep, just another option. Another bass color. Can't go wrong with it. All right. Here we have another awesome five inch mag draft, but in a carp color. Very subtle, not too much shine or shimmer to it. Very good for clear water, high visibility days. Pretty sweet. And remember, this can match anything, anything that will be very subtle. Another uh, five inch mag draft in the uh, oh, Oogie. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with that. Another smaller size. Hold on, man. What is these animals? I don't even know what kind of bug this is. But it almost. Bug. It almost ate Louie. Up, Hopefully you're not poisonous or dangerous, but you got one heck of a pair of antennae on you. Okay, focus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna go a little bigger on the. Uh, oops, we already did that color. Apologies. Get your life together, Louie. What's going on in that box, man? In the head or the box? <laughs> and here we have the flat slap in the vegetation uh, reactor. Self-explanatory. We don't need to be redundant in here. Boom. Boom. Alright. Here we have the 5-inch mag draft in nude bass. One of my favorite colors, guys. And just because it says bass doesn't mean it's a bass. It could look like a pike 
or some kind of, uh, I don't know, what would you say? It looks delicious. Uh, yeah, let's say that. Scrum <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Now we have the 5 inch mag draft in. Uh oh. Bom bom bom. Sunshine Gill. That thing is sick. This would be good for when the uh, blue gills are uh, up spawning this summer. You know, going through their bluegill beds, and you know there's always those big bass just waiting on the outside edges of those of those beds. Oh yeah, this will definitely get it done. Love that little detail in that tail. It's really sweet. I believe this is the last one mm -hmm. ever. And this, but not least, last but not least, is a five inch. Silver Shad. Sick. This is such a sick color. I got this uh, in the 8 inch version on that uh, hookup tackle you guys did uh, on that Facebook Live. Oh, few, very uh, cool. A few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it's a deadly pattern, deadly bait. And speaking of our friends uh, at the hookup tackle, you guys can find links to all these products directly to their website. And every time you guys click on those links and make a purchase, it Helps keep these wheels turning, helps keep the movement on the road and engage, and it shows that you guys are coming to that sweet Mega Bass Superstore directly from us. So we appreciate all the love, all the support. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys find value and insight with all of these super high end baits. And as always, these unboxings are not designed to be haha look at us it's more we're hoping that you guys find some value to help with your decision making because it can be daunting the mega bass lineup especially is a large one and every option is amazing so to help better make your decision on which ones to get first because you're probably going to end up with all of them like i have we're going to continue to do these mail calls for you guys. And then we also just got back from a little run into town. And Louie here oh, yeah. has something interesting to show you guys. Something pretty zany. Here, first I'll show them what I purchased from the musky shop. What? Raleigh and Helen's musky what shop. What is that? It's Justin Bieber. No, just kidding. <laughs> if we could throw up. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. It's a crazy looking lure. I needed to get a souvenir for that shop. I just decided to grab something the most randomest, craziest thing in the obnoxious color. Just so you... Just souvenir? So You're not going to fish that today? I will. I'll throw it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we can get one. And then uh, Oliver picked up a couple of things too. He got a Weevil. And this is the uh, eight inch version. Hmm. That's pretty sweet, huh? And this is Cisco. Oh. Uh, like Cisco from Drew Hill? <laughs> no, Cisco is like the forage bait that actually lives up here in this area. Oh my goodness, what the heck is that? This is the Medusa. This is crazy. We opened it a little earlier just to check it out. Check out this crazy piece. <laughs> Yeah, that thing weighs like 14 and a half ounces. 